there. We don't talk about continents much. We currently have North America and South America, Europe and Asia, Africa and Australia, and then there's Antarctica, right? But are we about to see a new continent? The biggest continent in history formed right before our eyes? And is it going to be man-made? No, that can't happen, can it? This new mega continent will be the result of a dream mega project with a price tag of $1 trillion. Yes, that's a trillion with a T. And while this could be a bold step forward to bring widespread peace and an end to hunger, could it ironically instigate the next world war? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pristine Mega Projects channel. In this video, we'll cover the dream mega continent created by a strategically placed dam between Europe and Africa, and how that creation creates the largest continent in the world, promotes peace, and harnesses energy production like we've never seen before, at a time when both peace and energy are greatly needed. In the early 20th century, German architect Hermann Sorgel designed Atlantropa, one of the most enormous engineering projects ever. Atlantropa's main plan was to build a massive dam to drain the Mediterranean Sea and change Europe and Africa. The $1 trillion dam, as it was called, was intended to control Mediterranean water levels, harness the sea's energy, and revolutionize the region economically and geopolitically. After World War I, the idea of Atlantropa was founded. Sorgel, devastated by the war and economic turmoil, wanted a big solution to unite and stabilize Europe. He envisioned a geopolitical and socio-economic utopia to solve post-war Europe's problems, not just infrastructure. Sorgel envisioned Atlantropa as a project that would generate hydroelectric power, create agricultural land, promote economic cooperation, and keep nations at peace. By lowering the Mediterranean Sea's water level, he would reveal enormous new territory and create a whole new continent. Reclaimed areas, mostly a decreased Adriatic Sea and exposed Mediterranean basin, would become fertile plains for agriculture and urban growth. Europe's energy needs would be met by the dam's controlled water flow, which would propel industrialization and economic progress. Sorgel's idea went beyond engineering to influencing geopolitics. He felt that integrating Europe and Africa physically would promote collaboration and harmony and reduce future conflicts. Atlantropa was a big vision for a united, peaceful, and affluent megacontinent powered by hydroengineering. A Euro-African supercontinent, Atlantropa was conceived not only as an engineering feat, but as a geopolitical strategy. The creation of a European spearheaded supercontinent would, according to Sorgel, establish a new world order built on technocratic principles and the primacy of hydropower that would bring peace through collaboration. Sorgel's vision was deeply rooted in his belief that interconnected continents would lead to lasting peace. That is an interesting theory. Leave a comment below on your thoughts on this. Will dissolving borders create peace? The Atlantropa project aimed to dissolve national boundaries in order to create a society that had no choice but to cooperate with each other. Despite its visionary aspects, Atlantropa faced criticism and skepticism. Even so, its legacy endures as a testament to Sorgel's bold imagination and the potential interplay between engineering, geopolitics, and societal aspirations. So how would this trillion-dollar dam work? Well, the Atlantropa project proposes building hydroelectric dams at critical Mediterranean sea locations like the Strait of Gibraltar and the Bosporus. The project's main dam would be located at the Strait of Gibraltar and would harness natural water currents to build the world's largest hydroelectric powerhouse. Atlantropa's financial estimates were unimaginable and unparalleled. Atlantropa's ambitious dam construction, infrastructure, and geopolitical goals were reflected in this astronomical trillion-dollar figure. The scale and scope of the megaproject naturally presents monumental engineering challenges. A dam spanning the eight-mile-wide Strait of Gibraltar would need tremendous engineering skill and construction. Draining and reconstructing the Mediterranean Sea would be environmentally difficult, to say the least. Maybe that's why Gladys and her killer whale friends keep sinking ships at the Strait of Gibraltar? Hmm, now it all makes sense. 
How would changing such a large body of water like the Mediterranean Sea affect marine life, ecosystems, and even climate change? In. To reduce the impact of Mediterranean ecosystem change, creative solutions will be needed, including methods for protecting marine life and managing the environmental impacts of never-before-seen sea reconfiguration. Atlantropa would also demand cutting-edge electronics. The engineering teams would need to create new dam construction, energy generation, and continental water management systems. Improvements in hydroelectric turbine technology and advancements in energy conversion systems will be needed to maximize the potential of the water currents. The dam size would require new building methods and materials. Engineers must create materials that can withstand both the Mediterranean currents and the deep sea pressures. Environmental impact. Let's look under the hood, or should I say under the water? Atlantropa's Mediterranean drainage would have serious environmental effects. The complex ecosystems and marine life in this enormous body of water would be severely disrupted, posing ecological dangers. Draining the Mediterranean might destroy the habitats of innumerable marine species, reducing biodiversity. Coastal and deep sea habitats could be irreparably damaged. The Mediterranean Sea also provides migration and breeding sites for many marine species. Changing the sea's dynamics could hamper these important processes, endangering even more species. The proposed draining would result in the exposure of vast stretches of the Mediterranean basin. This drastic change in topography will certainly alter and disrupt existing habitats, including seafloor ecosystems and coastal wetlands. Unique and specialized environments, such as coral forests, could be particularly vulnerable to the alteration of the Mediterranean Sea. The intricate balance of these ecosystems could be disturbed, affecting resident species and the beneficial ecological functions that they provide. Draining the Mediterranean may release pollutants and contaminants from the water. Widespread pollution could harm marine animals, land ecosystems, and even human health. What about the climate? Climate change could be produced by changing the natural state of the Mediterranean Sea. Sea currents, temperatures, and weather patterns could affect the global climate, increasing ecological risk for people and animals. Confident. Despite Atlantropa's ambitious aims, Mediterranean drainage poses serious ecological problems. Before making drastic changes to a crucial and interrelated marine ecosystem, environmental impacts like biodiversity loss, habitat disruption, and pollutant release will need to be considered. If you like videos like this one, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons now so that the algorithm will show this video to other people like you and me. Thanks! Besides environmental concerns, what are the economic and geopolitical implications? Atlantropa promises significant economic changes with benefits and drawbacks and looking at its impact on trade, agriculture, and regional stability reveals intricate dynamics. Some economic benefits include land reclamation. Atlantropa aims to create vast new land by draining the Mediterranean, providing potential agricultural expanses. This could boost food production and address land scarcity issues. Hydroelectric power. The project promises to generate immense hydroelectric power, potentially meeting a significant portion of Europe's energy needs, resulting in energy independence from Russia and the Middle East. Employment opportunities. Construction and maintenance of the Atlantropa infrastructure would certainly create an enormous number of jobs, stimulating economic activity. But there are also economic drawbacks. Enormous cost. The financial investment required for Atlantropa is staggering, raising concerns about its economic feasibility and long-term sustainability. Disruption of existing economies. Drastic changes to the Mediterranean could disrupt existing trade routes, negatively impacting economies that are heavily reliant on maritime activities. The draining of the Mediterranean Sea could redefine not just regional shipping lanes, but global shipping routes as well. This will divert trade flows and potentially bankrupt currently established port cities. Changes in these trade routes will favor certain nations while dealing crippling disadvantages to others. This could lead to economic reorientations and even conflict. So, it is reasonable to assume that Atlantropa could reshape geopolitical power dynamics, influencing which nations gain or lose strategic advantages. 
Because of this, the mega project's execution would need extensive diplomatic negotiations and collaborations, shaping international relations in the region and even the world. Is that Lantropa the answer to world hunger, though? Land reclamation from the Mediterranean seafloor will open up new areas for agriculture, addressing food production. However, altering the Mediterranean landscape could bring droughts to some areas that were not previously affected and may bring unforeseen ecological consequences that could negatively impact agriculture and biodiversity through animal and plant diseases. Atlantropa's economic benefits, though promising, are coupled with significant never-before-seen challenges and potential disruptions. While this bold step forward could potentially bring widespread peace, could it ironically instigate the next world war? To see how Mexico is changing the face of global trade without creating a new continent, watch this video next that's on your screen now. A Modern Perspective Atlantropa was once an ambitious but controversial proposal. Now, it is resurfacing and is being viewed through the lens of environmental consciousness and sustainable development. Assessing social and economic implications is crucial to project feasibility in modern times. Sustainable development ideas emphasize balancing economic growth with social and environmental well-being. Advances in renewable energy technology could push Atlantropa to review its energy generation plans in consideration of more sustainable options. In an era of increased public participation, especially through social media, gauging social acceptability will be critical. Public opinion, which can be influenced by environmental groups and sustainability advocates, will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in determining the project's feasibility. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the next video on the screen now, and I'll see you in the next video. See you in the